Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel, Dream of Crafts. My name is Deanna and today we're going to be creating a small mini album and I'm going to be using, except for my double-sided tape, all scraps. Everything is from a scrap. So we're going to be using a Belveda, uh, like Cracker Bar, it's breakfast biscuit box. You can use any box you want. You'll just have to change your mess um, sizes. And then this is my large box of scrap decorative cardstock. And it is packed full. And I do have to go through it and donate some to the local school. But so I went through there and picked out anything that was kind of pink that would coordinate together for this project. So there's all different sizes. I have some bigger sheets that I'll be able to use for my cover, but I think everything should coordinate pretty good. So just a good variety of different things. And I think I've got enough there. So let me get this box out of the way. And we'll keep it handy just in case I have to dig for more, but I think I'll be good. And all of my pages that I've created were from scraps from my stash because I do a lot of albums so I always have I mean I I have the little ones too I'll save those if they're an inch wide in case I need hinges or something but you always end up with pieces so this is all from my scraps and this is my largest white piece of scrap and that's going to help with our cover and then we have our hinge so let's go ahead and start with the box so i've opened the bottom and the top and what i did was just kind of pull that open like that now we're going to slice these two end pieces off and so i'm just putting it in my trimmer slicing it off right where it has its score mark there and then this one just has a little short one so lining that up cutting that off okay so then you end up with this so then what i did was i took all of these bent them down and i adhered strip tape like you would just with your cover for your album just adhered some tape peeled off as much of this hard glue as i could because i didn't want that in my way uh, let's see if I can get this. Some of it scraped off so nice. It just, oh, there it goes. Just peeled right up. So you don't want those big bumps under there. Okay. So get as much of that off as you can. It's not too bad. There we go. So then, like I said, you could use just glue, but I used just a little bit of tape to help hold as the glue dried. And that makes this nice and stiff. So I've already got one already glued down for us. And it creates a nice sized little album. It's pretty stiff with those edges bent. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this cut down. Now I want this to be eight and a half inches high. Actually, we don't need it that high, do we? Let's see here. All right, let's measure. So it is five. So let's make it about seven inches high, just a smidge over seven, just to make sure. Here we go. So seven inches high. And this is already 12 inches wide. So then we have an additional piece here that is four and a half inches so let's make that seven inches high plus so seven and an eight do seven and one eighth high and this should be the same height okay so and then see the scrap here that i have could be used as a tag if we need it so i'm gonna go ahead and get this cutter out of my way and we're gonna add a piece of tape here along this edge like so and this was actually would go pretty fast um, it will go faster 
if you were just making one of your own, if I was just making one. Uh, but I took the time to write the measurements and stuff down for us. So um, what I used, so that took long. But if I was just building it, it would have went a lot faster. All right. Okay. So we're going to take this. We've got our little book here. So I'm going to get my ruler. And we're going to get that. Let's go ahead and add some tape to this here. Well, I think I'm just going to try to go straight across here. Just to see. And this is kind of shiny box paper, so hopefully it'll stick good. Oops. And we'll use glue too. There we go. Okay. So yeah, I think this would I think you could probably do one of these in a matter of just a couple of hours if you um were just putting it together and doing it and not uh not worrying about um measuring, you know, to write it down and stuff, but I wanted to give you an idea if you had the same box and you would know. But yeah, I just wanted to use something that I only had scraps for. And I actually had, was going to do my pages in pink because I had a lot of scraps of pink uh, from a baby um, album I did for my niece. But then I had to, would have to change all the other paper too. So I said, forget it. Um, all right, I'm going to line this up about an inch from my left hand edge inch from the bottom and then we're going to go ahead and oops grab a hold of this and it doesn't matter if you have it upside down or not it's going to be the same either way so i'm going to come in here from an inch there just like that and write it down there we go tip this over And this piece of cardstock here had a couple of little smudges on it, but it's going to be covered with decorative cardstock, so I wasn't too worried about it. Yeah. All right, there we go. I'm going to start bending this a little. Just a little. Try to get that paper used to. And then we'll clip our corners. So we can miter those. This this way. Kind of starting in the middle, bending it up a little bit. Now this cardstock that I'm using for the outside here was American Crafts cardstock, if that matters to anybody. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and come in here and miter my corners so I can see my lines lightly there. And I think you can too, just a little bit there. Turn my light here. And uh, you can see where it's bent. So I'm just gonna come in just on a slight angle and stay about a 16th of an inch away from that edge of that box there. Same here, it doesn't have to be a huge angle, just a slight angle, just like that. All four sides here. This is a little bit longer, but it's not going to matter. It's not going to affect it. Perfect. All right. Now I'm just like you were going to do a regular album with chipboard. I'm going to come in here and lay a bead of glue to soften that edge, staying about a quarter of an inch away from the edge there. There we go. And now we'll lay some tape down to help hold that. And you can lay your tape down first so it's not drying up on 
See, glue's not drying. But I want it to kind of sit there a minute. And soak into that paper. Softens it a little. But you could easily do this before if you don't think you can move fast enough. There we go. I'm going to peel this top in here. There we go. And I'm going to give it a little squiggle here. All right. And come in. Lay that down. I can see that broke there just a little bit, so I'm just going to add a little dab of glue and bring that back down. So if you had just a, a short amount of time and you wanted to do an album for somebody, uh, I think you could, when you were limited on supplies, I think you could go through your scraps and find enough. Even if you um, don't have enough scrap paper, it still would make a nice little quick album. So. Said that side was a little bit longer there but it's not a big deal and if your little white edges stick out there a little bit and go ahead and fold those back in there i just wanted to design this as a really quick little project it's nice to have one you can just um, do all right so now we're just gonna slowly bend those like that those bent there. Okay. Now it doesn't give us a lot of gusset room there, so. But it's just going to be a quick little, quick little folio. Okay. So let's uh, go ahead and figure out what we want to do for our outside. I could even just use that. That's cute too. And then maybe add a couple little flowers. I think I'll do that. This is a nice size. Okay, so our box is five and an eighth high. So let's go ahead and do it five inches. And then we have five by five and three eighths. Five by five and three eighths. I'm going to write that down there, and this one should be close to the same. Nope, this one is five and a half. Mm -hmm. So this one is a little bit longer, let me see. Yeah, it's the same. What did I do here? No, that's what I did. So five and a half. I just didn't have this up there. So five and a half wide. Five by five and a half. And this one is five by two and a quarter, I want to say. Let's see here. Yeah, let's do two and a quarter. All right. Let's go ahead and grab our trimmer and we'll cut those together. So five inches high. Five inches high. And we're gonna have we get this on there too. And then this one is two and a quarter, so we'll cut that first. And then we'll cut the height. That will be don't use as much. Of the scrap. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. So double check. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and glue this down. And then as soon as we get this glue down here, then we don't have to worry about this edge. We can go ahead and um, do our hinge and start putting our pages in. So now our pages, we're going to do four of them. I'm going to try to move through this as quickly as I can. I'm hoping that we can get it done maybe in one video, but it might take two because if we're decorating it together. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, okay. So we need, oh, we need scraps for our pages here. Let's see what I got here. Let's see here. All right. I think. I think let's do a colored piece in here to make it easier. So let's do this is pretty. So we know our sizes already. So I'm going to keep this piece small here because I don't want all that bulk there. And this is going to actually come in and come over there. I'll show you here in a second here. So we've got a one inch edge. So that's going to come over on each side a little bit. So that will cover that. So I'm not going to put any additional underneath here. That would just create more bulk that we don't need. So I'm just going to cover this and this. So we know that we needed five and a half by five. So let's go ahead and cut those. And then we should be good. So we're going to use this. So we need it. Five inches high. Let's see if I can get more of that. I'm not sure if I've sewn enough. So five and a half. Nope, we'll have to cut two because that's too short. Okay. Let's do another five inch. Five inch, five and a half. All right, perfect. Okay. So we'll put one here and one there, and they're not going to bother that sitting there because I'm trying, because that is just a small area there, I don't want to balk that up because then it won't close very good for us. And that's the only downfall of using a down, downfall of using a box that has already scored because it doesn't give you a large um, area. So we'll be okay. Oh, you know what? Pull that up. Pull it up. I want to put this down first. Okay, here we go. So for our hinge you want piece four and five eighths high by seven and a half you're going to score that at one inch one and a half two inches two and a half three inches three and a half four inches four and a half five inches five and a half six inches and six and a half inches seven and a half inches wide by four and five inches is high Okay. So you have one inches on each end and a half inch between there. I've pre-taped 
these so we can just move right along and I always put X's in the parts that are going to be my gusset so that I know when I'm putting on my tape that that's a gusset not to tape it okay there we go and I've already added my double-sided tape to each hinge so let's just go ahead and add some double-sided tape to the back of this I'm gonna get some wide tape here make it faster if there's enough on here let me see if there's enough on here there we go sure all right so let's go ahead and catch that on there there we go i'm going to trim that off because it went over the went over there we go all right so we have that let's go ahead and just add some strips of this other one here it's a little crooked maybe it's this thing that's crooked not that hopefully not is this crooked hmm something's crooked those all look right Paper's crooked. Okay. I think it's just the edge of that paper is crooked. I think I'll be all right. It doesn't look like my hinges are crooked. Just the paper. And that will be covered. Okay. Give that a good press there. Pull the tape off. I think this would be a cute little album so I didn't pre put one together <laughs> I'm good for that ain't I <laughs> uh, all right so I'm just gonna eyeball this here just like that you can see see that see that there we go. I think that'll work. perfect Go ahead and add a little bit of glue here. Now we'll let this sit and dry. Oh, that's stuck pretty good already. Okay, good. I can get that bent in there good like that. all right so now let's go ahead and glue these down all right there we go all right make sure our notes are facing the right way And we can go in and um, put some of that decorative card stock on there too. So that's not on there like that. And just like so. Again, you want to keep it away from that edge there with the there we go. all right so we're gonna set this aside oh see we're just gonna start building and we'll put them in all right so 
I have two pieces, or you're going to cut four pieces, five and three quarters high by five wide, and four pieces, four and three quarters high by five inches wide. And that's going to be your tunnels for your pages. You're going to score the five and three quarters one on that edge, on the five and three quarter edge, at a half inch on each end. We're gluing our four and three quarters piece down on top of those hinges that you created. Perfect. And I've already pre-built the other three. So this was the last one. Okay. So for this one, I am just going to do, I'm going to make sure my tunnel's facing. This one, we're just going to add a pocket. This is six inches wide by three and a half inch high. Again, these were all scraps. And you are going to score on your six inch wide side at a half inch on each end. And we're going to make a pocket. I tried to keep this as simple as possible. I'm going to lay a bead of glue right down at the bottom edge there to close our pocket up. Because this is small, I just wanted to keep it really simple. And because we're using scraps, so we're not working with whole sheets of paper that we can just cut up to whatever size we want. Okay. And then I have two tags made out of scraps, and they're both four and five eighths high by three and a half wide. So those will go in this pocket like so. We might have to cut them down because they're not going to go into that pocket. So we'll cut those down. To, let's just do them both at the same time and we're going to cut them down. Let's go ahead and cut them down to, let's try four and a quarter and see if that works. See if that's high enough. Perfect. So four and a quarter. There we go. All right. On the back side of this, or on the other side of this, we're going to take one piece, that was a scrap, it was 10 inches wide by 4 and 3 quarters high, I scored at a half inch, 9 sixteenths of an inch, and 5 and 3 eighths, then folded the 5 and 3 eighths in, and that 9 sixteenths gives us just a little bit of a gusset, a sixteenth of an inch gusset. We're going to glue this down to our left hand side, just like that. So glue just the half inch part down, making sure you're not gluing down your 9 16 inch edge right to your left hand side there. Just like that. All right. So this will flip. And then flip open again. That's one page. Oops, let's see here what's going on here. There we go. All right. I want to get this little gusset there. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we can go ahead and attach our little, oh, we can decorate it first too. All right, we'll just let that set. And so for this one here, I've got two pieces. One's going to flip left, one's going to flip right. I have my magnet sitting on top of here so I didn't lose them. There we go. All right. So let's move this other stuff out of the way. I'm going to glue one piece down. Why didn't I write? Quick measure this. All right. Five and a half. And it's scored at a half inch. And then nine sixteenths to give it a little gusset so you need two of those two at five and a half and on your five and a half inch side score at a half inch and nine sixteenths and these are four and a half inches high okay so two one to flip left one to flip right again just glue on your half inch there and we'll glue that on the right side of our page here now this is going to be centered. You're going to have about an eighth of an inch on the top and the bottom. Okay. And this one. Let's 
Same thing here, just glue on your half inch edge. And I'm making sure that this corner lines up with the bottom of that. And I'm laying it down so that they're even. All right. So now let's go ahead and attach our magnets. Just need a little bit of tape here, just tiny bits of tape. I don't want big pieces of tape because it's pretty close to the edge. I'm just using little strips of tape facing up. And the magnet goes there like that. Last magnet. The first ones that I put on, they were just they were just glued on. Alright, so I'm gonna bring this in, making sure my gussets there back like this and this one's back to make sure I have keep my gussets there we go and then let's turn this tape moved a little bit okay bring this in I'm just going to hold each magnet gently and then press the edge of the tape then I'm going to slide it so that hope oh, it didn't work all right let's try again it's just such little pieces of tape. Let's see if that worked. Hmm. Nope, it doesn't want to work. Okay. I'm going to put a little glue on. Let's see if that helps. And then once that sets up, then I'll be able to take those off. All right. So we're just going to set up a second just gently press it on the magnets until that art glitter glue kind of takes a hold all right let's see if i can slide it now there we go that worked all right now i'm going to just put that tape down a second okay so that's one side on the other side i have a belly band that is three and five eighths inch wide by five and three quarters high on your five and three quarter side score at a half inch on each end i also have two tags on my scraps and they are four and seven eighths wide by four and five eighths high always check your tunnel to make sure i'm eyeballing this just to make sure it fits in there we go. Okie dokie. Stand just like that. A little bit further up. There we go. Perfect. And our two tags just slide right in there. Just like that. Whoops, maybe. There we go. All right, that's the second page. On this page here, we have a flip up that is four and three quarters wide by four and three quarters high. On one of the three quarters, four and three quarters sides, you're going to score at a half inch and nine sixteenths again. Just a little gusset. We also have a pocket that is two inches high by six inches wide. On the six inch wide side, you're going to score half inch on each end. And we're just going to, again, run a little bead of glue down at the very bottom there to close off our pocket. Tunnels running the right way. Yeah, and we have a tag. This tag just happens to be four and a half by four and three eighths. So let's see what we got here. All right, perfect. I got the four and three eighths running up and down. So four and a half is wide. All right, so let's go ahead and get our flip on here. So we're going to glue that to the top. 
not our gusset. And we're going to kind of center it. And again, you're going to have about an eighth of an inch on each edge. Okay, just like so. Perfect. Like that. There we go. And that tag should fit in there like so. We're gonna, I think we're going to add just a little magnet to that too. So let's go ahead and do that. I can see where I got my little magnets. I had a stack of them here just a little bit ago. Uh, what did I do with them? Those are too big. Hmm. Could have sworn I had them stuck there. All right. All right, we'll move on. I'll find them. Okay, so they're around here somewhere. Okay. So on the back side of this, we're going to have, I think this one, yes. Okay, so this one, these are both four and a quarter inches wide by four and three quarters high. And the one you're going to score at four at three eighths and the other one you're going to score at a half inch and the reason you're going to score the one at a half inch and not three eighths is because this one is going to tuck inside of the short one's going to tuck inside of the other one so we're gonna do just like that so we're gonna this is the four the three eighths scored so put the score to your right and then it's also got a 9 sixteenths, so you need a half inch, three eighths and a half inch. Let me double check. Yes, three eighths and then a half inch, so that you got a gusset there. Okay, so that's going to want to get the right one facing the right way. Okay. So the one that scored at a half inch, and then there's one that scored at three eighths. Okay. The right way. That's the right way. Okay. So the half inch one is going to attach to the left side of the three eighths one. Okay. And if you have a long enough piece, you could just score it like the other one but I just I didn't I only had the one long piece so we're going to attach that to the left side here just like that and then we're going to glue our 3 8 inch down here and let's go ahead and glue that to the left side perfect All right. And I don't think that's going to need anything that seems to be frozen nicely. There we go. All right. This one is going to, not sure where my magnets went, but we'll keep that handy. All right. And for our last one, we have a flip right and a flip up. So we'll do our flip up first. So this is four and a half wide by five and a quarter high. On the five and a quarter edge, you are going to score at a half inch and nine sixteenths. Again, to get us a gusset there. And we're going to move this all the way over to the left hand side. Just like that. Okay. And then we have our right flip, which is four and an eighth high. For some reason I didn't do it. Yeah, four and an eighth high by five and a half. And you're going to score on the five and a half edge at a half inch and nine sixteenths for another little gusset. You're going to put glue just on your half inch here. And this is going to go halfway. So we're going to split the difference here. About halfway. There we go. Okay. Just like that. And then this will close over top of that one. Okay. Just like that. So this will flip right. This will flip up. 
them. All right, on the back side here, we have a flip right, flip left, and one that's going to flip down. So let's go ahead and add that first. We have four and seven eighths wide by four and a quarter high. On your four and a quarter inch edge, you're going to score it a half inch. No gusset, up, just a half inch. All right, let's go ahead and lay that down. All right, here we go. So again, you're going to have about, mm, let's say about 16th of an inch on each edge there. So go ahead and that. And then we're going to take our right flip, four and a half high by five and a quarter wide. On your five and a quarter edge, you're going to score it a half inch and nine sixteenths. You're going to, again, just add glue to your half inch hinge. And we're going to attach that to the right, centering that, and you'll have about an eighth of an inch between the two. There you go. Eighth of an inch in the top, an eighth of an inch on the bottom, if I get it straight. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now, on the left one, it's exactly the same as that. So you need two of those. Two four and a half inch high by five and a quarter wide. On your five and a quarter side, score it half inch and nine sixteenths. In addition to that, I have added a little brad with a, a flip with a brad, and that will help hold this all closed. So we're going to go ahead and glue that down on our half inch. Okay. Okay. So let me flip this open, and we're going to line this up here. And again, I'm going to use my hinge part on there to line it up to make sure we're equal there. Okay, so now this up, this flips in. Whoops, the left flips in. Oh, there we go. And then this flips in, and then there we go. And then that will hold that, okay? So right, up, and that's all three of them. So now, okay, still don't know what I did with my magnets. Let's see if we can clear some stuff out of here. I thought I stuck them to one of these. Hmm, there's this, but not that. I don't think I used them all. I wanted to use up the small ones, and maybe I did. Maybe I used up all my small ones. So I'm not seeing them. Okay. So let's see here. Um, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do a flip on there, and we'll do it together. So I'm going to need a black brad. And I'm going to need a manifest flip. All right. Let's go ahead and get our container here. And grab one of the flips there. That little, little, uh, they're flips for like your photo frames. And then I just have a mix of brads here. So let's grab a black one. I'm going to try to get down in this pocket. I'm going to take the tags out. Get down in this pocket a bit. All right, so let's go ahead and find the center. And it is at two and a half, so right in here. So let's go ahead and poke a hole. Just like that. And then I'm going to Hold this there. Hopefully I can get down in there. And get this to open up for us. All right. I might have to tip it so I can see it. Yeah, I'm just trying to open up those. Get down there a little way. Okay, goes that way. 
You got one going up. I just got to get one going the other way. Let me see if I can turn this. There we go. I don't know if you can see in there very good. There we go. It's way down in there. There we go. That problem's open up. Okay. Let's press that. Perfect. All right. So that will close that way. And that can go over top of there. And let's see if our tag still fits in there. Okay. Yep, it does. Okay. Perfect. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and add these. I think this is dry enough now. And it will continue to dry. Get this down here like that. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and attach these. It doesn't, there's no rhyme or reason I didn't pick certain ones to go on certain ways. I'm just pulling my double side tape back here. And placing it going down away from me. And I should have done a test fit here. It should fit on fairly. Yep, fairly easy. There we go. Slide that on. And I don't want to go all the way down to the very bottom. I just want to go to where I can't see the shiny part of the tape there. So it's about a sixteenth of an inch from the bottom. Because it's not exactly half inch tape there. It's just under. There we go. So I'm going to lift this off. And uh, we'll put that one in a different spot. Let's see here what we got a belly band with tags and then our magnets. Okay. Let's do the belly band. Again, down, facing down. What are we doing here? We are doing pretty good. So this might go beyond an hour a little bit because we're going to decorate yet. But I'm going to try to keep it short for us. Peeling off the tape. Sliding that down. There we go. Peeling off the tape. So now you would be doing the same thing, only you wouldn't have to write down your measurements and all that stuff. So yours would go actually probably faster because you'd just be measuring, you know, you'd be building at the same time. So it'd be, I think it'd be faster. So I think you could easily do one of these because it took me I don't know it didn't take me that long to to um prep it so I'm gonna say within a matter of I would think three hours or so you could have one of these built you know maybe a little longer but if you had an event like the next day you could do one in a day I think for sure easy and uh you don't have to go through and pick out all your scraps. You can just pick your scraps out as you go if you wanted to. But if you've got a lot of scraps laying around like I do, you know, big and small, then I think you can easily do this. And even if you don't have bigger pieces of decorative cardstock, you can always patchwork them. Um, all right. Let's pull this piece tape there. Slide that down. Perfect. There. So there's our four pages. It looks crooked. Is that crooked? It looks crooked. There we go. Right. 
And like I said, this will break in a little bit better as we work with it. Okay. It's a player. Cute. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and pick some decorations here. Hmm. Let's see, I've got these narrow ones, and I know I've got a couple pockets, so why don't we use those on the pockets? Oh, that one, I have to take the tag out. I'm going to have to take that off. Dang nabbit. That kind of sucks, doesn't it? All right, let's get this back off of there. Oh, I can. Let me see. Here we go. All right. So it's two inches high by six inches wide. So it's actually two inches high by five inches wide. So we need um, let's do five inches by four and seven eighths. Four and seven eighths. By one and seven eighths. Okay. And then I'm just going to glue that right down and make this as quick as possible. One and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. There we go. Just a nice little edge around there and I think we can get that so let's cut that the same let's do um, four and seven eighths wide okay. and I think we can slide that right down in there just a tiny bit and that will be perfect that will be perfect all right Just it's gonna work out just so it goes in there perfect. Look at that, isn't that cute? And I'm gonna try to not use too heavy of papers because I don't want that bulk in there. Let me get rid of my tape here. Okay. All right. So let me get my scraps off and underneath here. So this is like flat. All right. And we're just gonna work with this just like this. Um, this is cute too. Let's do what I think. Some of it is I'm just trying to see some of these little scraps here. I've used to cut bunnies out oh that one might work okay so this is three and five eighths wide so let's do three oh yeah i think we'll get away with that i think we can split the difference so i'm going to go just a smidge just like that and we'll go just a little bit bigger of a border there, but that's all right. Five and three quarters high, so that's four and three quarters high. So four and five eighths. Try that. Okay. There we go. That's cute on there. Let's just go ahead and put that on there. On the band. And okay. And let's see now we can do I think we can slide this in there. So let's go ahead and do how tall was that? That's five inches tall. Right. Four and three quarters. 
so that was your quarters pie. So let's trim the stick. Let's get rid of this bunny here. All right. And I need four and three quarters high. And we're going to go four and five eighths. All right. That should slide in there. Yep. And then let's see here. This is three and three eighths. So one and a half. Let's do one and five eighths. Nah, let's do let's do one and three quarters. And yeah, this is pretty close. And we're just gonna glue those and slide them in. Okay. So one on the right side here should slide right in there. Give ourselves a little, little white there. Oh, I just did it to the tag. <laughs> I only pulled one tag out. Let's try again. I don't want to glue that to that tag. That's silly. All right, let's try again. I was wondering why it was sticking out there different. All right, let's slide you in there like that. Perfect. Put the other side. Okay. Slide this in there like so. And again, just put some edge there, just like that. Okay. And that's the tags. So let's see here, we got this. So I'm only going to cover the tags on one side. So four and seven eighths wide by four and five eighths high. So four and seven eighths. So we're going to do four and three quarters. Four and three quarters by four and three eighths. No, four and a half. Four and a half on that one. Okay. And that should work out just perfect, just like that. Okay. Right. Let's do this one, this one. And then we'll cut another one for the second one. I'm just going to leave the back white. We don't need that covered. We should have, still have a nice area for a photo. So let's go ahead and that one in there like so and let's see here Ooh, how about that that's pretty isn't it so four and five eighths high so four and a half high four and a half high Four and three quarters. Do that right out there, just like that. Yeah. There we go. Just slide that one in there too, just like so. And the more of these get pushed in and out, they will stretch that out a little bit. And I can go in here too and stretch that out a little bit with that. There we go. The more it's used, the more it'll be relenting to them. Okay, so we've got this up here. So let's see what we got. Ooh, that's pretty. Go ahead with that. This one, four inches high by four and five eighths wide. Four inches high. Four inches high. 
95 eighths wide. Okay. We're just going to glue that right up there. Like I said, I just, these are all different papers, all different paper companies. And uh, I just, just started pulling and just any color that I thought would go with this, that's what I did. All right, so I'm gonna make my hole down here again. It's right there. And find my brad, maybe. <laughs> Not like I don't have a mess here. Okay, here we go. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, let's just grab another one. It'll show up. They always do. It's here. I have a black one. Here we go. All right. All right. And the only reason I'm grabbing black ones is because that's the color of the flip thing. Otherwise, I would go with a different color. All right. So this here looks like so. Back to the drawing board here. Sorry about that flat being in your way. Here we go. like that. All right. So four and three quarters wide again. Let's do, oh, we got this one. That might just, yeah, we can just cut that one down. I think I'm going to go with this side. So um, what do I need it for height? Four I need, actually, I need width here. Da, 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 da. Four and three quarters. So four and five eighths. Four and five eighths. Right. And that can go right there. Perfect. Perfect. Get my glue here. And I think this just is. This is just fun little thing here um yeah i think if so if you use a different box that's not going to be a problem you just adjust your measurements but it's just to show you what you can do with your scraps so i got that that okay and that can close there all right okay so here we need four and five eighths high by four and seven eighths. Four and five eighths by four and seven eighths. All right, this is kind of cool. Hmm. Let's see what we can get out of this. Is it four and seven eighths high? Four and seven eighths wide. Perfect. All right. Let's just. Shimmy this down here a little bit. Seven and seven eighths. Perfect. Four and seven eighths. And I'm going to trim this down here. Uh, let's see. What did I say? Four and five eighths. Yes, four and five eighths. Right. Okay, so we'll just use this cute little tag here. That's cute. There we go. Just like so. Well, I'll put it this way so I can flatten it down. There we go. And then this one here. Ooh. Oh. That's 
pretty. Oh, there we go. So, four and a quarter wide. Let's just double check. Nope, that is three because of the, so I need three and five eighths. So the height is good. I just need three and five eighths. Okay. Perfect. Again. Nice. Nope. 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 Two. Oh, that nice stripe here. What's this one? This on there? No. Okay. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's go ahead with. Uh, let's go ahead with this one. There we go. So that is. Three and five eighths by by four and five eighths. Three and five eighths by four and five eighths. Three and five eighths. There we go. Da, 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 da. Just like that. I'm going to reach back here a second. I'm going to plug in my glue gun so that's good and hot. When you're ready, I'm going to just move a couple of flowers on. There we go. I know we got a bit to go yet, but I want it to be nice and warm. All right. We need something there. Let's go ahead with, let's go ahead with this here. So let's just double check. So three and five eighths wide. Four and five eighths high. Three and five eighths. Is that what are they? Three and five eighths. Three and five eighths wide. Okay. Just like that. So there, that is three and five eighths wide. Four and five eighths. Okay. Let's do this one. Here. There we go. All right, I think we're close to an hour. I guess we're doing pretty good. 
working on that. That's done. That's done. Let's go ahead with this one. Let's pull back the tape here. Tape didn't even do any good. Hardly did it. All right. Let's see here. I think I want to do two colors here. So we're going to divide this up. And this is four and a half, four and three eighths. Four and three eighths. And we're just going to patchwork this a little bit. So we're going to put this here. And then what I'm going to do is create a little slip pocket on the other side. Just a tiny one. Let's add a little extra glue around these. There we go. All right. So this is going to go like this. Cover up our magnets. And then I'm going to take one of these scraps. This is kind of pretty. And let's make a little pocket there. Okay. So, what's that? And I think I'm actually going to make that the full height there. So, four and a half, four and a half high. Just a little bit more room. And then we're going to glue it right to the end there, and it'll be a nice little pocket. So I'm just going to close up that edge there. So it's not going to be a bulky pocket, but it will be a pocket. So we should be able to slide the tag or something. So I'm going to lift this up so I can see it. And there we go right to the edge. There we go. Okay. I'm going to let that dry and then we can maybe put a little tag in there. Let's just uh, take one and see. There we go. Nice little tag there. And I'm not going to decorate it or nothing. You can just add journaling on there or something. Oh, what do we got here? Let's do. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So choose that one. So how high do we need that? Four and five eighths high. Four and five eighths high. Like that. It's going to go in there just like that. Just like that. I'm going to close this up and bring it this way so I can press that down there a little bit. There we go. And then here, what else we got? All right, let's see if we want this thing. Mm, too skinny. We can get it that way, and we can get it this way. Okay, so let's go this way. So this one, four and three quarters. Four and three quarters. And that can go just like a nut. Oh, and we can cut that down a little bit too. Four and three eighths. Let's go ahead and do that. Perfect. And I might be able to do the other side too to match it. 
I'm gonna lift this up so I can see because it's white on white on white on white on white on white. Okay. All right. Get the magnet sealed down there. So, four and three quarters. And three quarters. And I think it should still be the same. Four and three eighths. Okay. That looks crooked. Four and three quarters. Just checking because it looked like it was running crooked. Four and three eighths. Yeah. Press fit. Get oak. This one, what do we got here? Okay, so let's do, is that high enough? No. Let's do, oh, here we get this one out of there, I think. So let's do this. Four and three quarters, or four and three eighths by four and three quarters. Four and three eighths. Four and three quarters. Okay. Just like so. Here we go. And this is a little bit stiffer cardstock, so I'm using that on the outside edge there. That will not interfere with anything. All right. That's perfect. Next one here. All right. So four. I don't want to get. Uh, I want to get my gusset there. Four and three quarters. Quarters. Four and five eighths. Three quarters. Quarters. Four and five eighths. Four and three quarters. Four and quarters. Four and three quarters. Four and five eighths. Four and three quarters. Just like that. So as you can see, there's not a ton of um, things going on, but just enough, you know, just enough to make it interesting. So this should be the same as we're inside. Ooh. Let's see here. Should be four and three quarters. Four and five eighths. Yep. Okay. 
Oh, let's do the writing there for something different. That'd be pretty. The script. There we go. There we go. And uh, this one come here. Looking in there. Trying to move this along as fast as we can. Okay, like that. Let's do this patchwork here. All right, what do we got here? Four and three eighths. By four and five eighths. Four and three eighths. So let's do four and five eighths, right? Four and three eighths. Wait, what do we got here? Let me double check. Four and three eighths wide. Four and three eighths wide. Okay. And we're just going to piece these together here. And we'll use this one. Ooh, like that. And I'm not going to worry about cutting it. So I'm just going to glue them on there. Like that. I can even make that a little pocket, but I don't need to. I think I'm just going to glue it down like a patchwork. And not worry about one being over top of the other. Okay. So this one's going to go up here. Like so. Come on. So we'll go down and read. And it'll just be patchworked. All right. If you wanted to make that a pocket, you could. But I'm not going to mess with it. There we go. Let's do... Let's use up some of this here. Okay. All right. So... Four and five eighths, four and three eighths, four and five eighths wide. Four and five eighths, four and three eighths. Come on, get in there. I think sometimes the harder you try, the harder it is. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to fold that this way a second so I can press on it. Okay. So that, that, that. We need this side here. Okay. Four. Why I want to stay away from there. Four and three quarters wide. Four and five eighths. Four and three quarters wide. That's one and five eighths. Five eighths. That's pretty. Let's do this one. Oh, you know what? Let's do that one. Just double check. Four and five eighths high. Four and five eighths high. Four and five eighths high. Four and three quarters. I'm hoping you can, I'm not getting my head thing in your way continually. Okay. 
It's just a pocket, so let's utilize some of the ink, that's for sure. So five inches wide, so four and seven eighths. It should slide right down in there, like so. Perfect. Ooh, that had that pretty thing on the back too. Hmm, too late. Too late. you down in there. Come on. There we go. Perfect. And then we need a piece that is three and three eighths. Three and three eighths. We can do that. Easy. Three and three eighths by four and seven eighths. Just like that. Perfect. And a tag. Let's go ahead and cover this tag in this. Yeah. I want to cover it in. I don't want anything heavy. Yeah, let's cover it in this. So a tag, four and a quarter, four and three eighths. Four and a quarter by four and three eighths. And a quarter and three eighths. Okay. Ooh, just like that. All right. And I'm not, again, I'm not going to cover both sides, just the one side. tag in there. Oops, this way. There we go. All right. So I believe that is that. And I'm not going to make tags for the inside right now, I don't think. These tags go to... These tags go to something. Not there. Where did these ones go? Oh, these ones go in here. Okay. So we'll have to cover those. I'm going to leave that open so I don't forget. All right. So this flip here. Actually, I think I'm going to trim that down just a smidge because that. Um, there we go. This was catching on a little bit and I don't want that. So. All right, so we need a piece, four and a half, four and a half by four and three eighths, four and, a half by four and three eighths. Uh, okay. Four and three eighths. Four and a half. Okay. All right. Perfect. This was an Easter paper. Isn't that cute? Easter or baby, maybe. I think Easter, but I can't remember what what brand. I can't remember. All right, that's cute. 
and four and three eighths, four and five eighths. What's this one? Okay, so let's go ahead and move that four and five eighths. We've got this piece here, yeah. So let's go ahead with that. I'm gonna do that here. So I take our little thing off a second. Okay. Do the center. All right, let's put our hole back in there. I don't want more than one hole. Ouch. Did the same thing when I put it in there. Poked my finger. All right, here we go. Oh, goodness sakes. All right, here we go. There we go. There we go. Catch there. Perfect. And that should lift up and look over the top. All right, so let's finish this then. All right, so we need a piece here. Four and three eighths. Four and three eighths. And four and seven eighths. Well, shorter than that. Well, that was even. Four and a half. Silly. I didn't think that was all good. Right? There we go. There we go. All right. That was better to cut longer than shorter, right? Better to cut it longer than shorter. that and then this one three and five eighths high by four and three quarters three and five eighths no oh. three and five eighths no oh. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use one of these and then put a band on the top. So that's what I'm going to do. Three and five eighths high. Like that. I'm going to get as close as I can. So we'll go three and five eighths. And we're going to have a little thing there. About four and seven eighths wide. So four and three quarters wide. All right. So we're going to glue that down. Then I'm just going to put a little decorative band to cover that where that is missing there. Okay. 
that would work. Because I think that paper is so pretty. Okay, so what do we have here? We have, oh, that's pretty. Let's go ahead and do that. Four and three quarters. Four and three quarters. And then I just need hmm, maybe like I don't know, half an inch. Two half inch band there. Just like that. Perfect. Could be anything fancy. Just to cover that up. Just like that. Perfect. Yeah. Ooh. All right, what do we got here? Let's go ahead with this. We still have that. We still have this one too. All right, so four and seven eighths by four and five eighths. Four and seven eighths by four and five eighths. Seven eighths. Four and seven eighths. Okay. Four and five eighths. Oh, that might be too short. But you know what? We'll do the same thing. We'll just add a decorative piece down at the bottom. Something different. There we go. Maybe that pretty pink that strip I've got right there. Alright. There we go. I've got this pretty pink strip here. Let's do that. So. Okay. Four. Okay. All right, just like that. Just the most decorative piece there, which is pretty. All right. And it doesn't. We don't want to get in the way of our dust or. There. Definitely don't want to be in the way of that. There we go. Okay. It's pretty. So this one here. Three and five eighths. Three and five eighths. Three and five eighths. Hmm. Short. I did. Dang, nab it. But, all right, let's glue it. We're going to glue it. We'll fix it. Hang on. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. All is not lost. Okay. There we go. So, what we're going to do is take little strips of. Little strips of no, I want something fancier. Let's do little strips of this one going this way. Okay, so we need it for three and five eighths. I'm gonna cut this at three and five eighths. Three and five eighths, and then I'm gonna split this in half. 
This looks like one inch, so I'm going to do a half inch. Line this back. Half an inch. All right, and then we'll just glue a strip on each side. Actually, we can glue that wood grain strip on each side just to change it up a little bit. Just like that. Okay. All right. All is not lost. Okay, so now let's do this one four and a three eighths high. So this goes like this, this goes like this, that goes like that. All right, two more. Okay, what do we got here? Oops. There we go. Let's see. Let's use this. Okay, this one is four inches. So four inches. Okay. Four inches. I'm going to center that. And we'll put pieces on the outside of that. Kind of eyeball it and we'll run pieces in from that. Okay. And let's do let's do let's do let's do oh these are like these ones. Ooh, I like that. So let's do this here. Oh, let's do two strips. Let's do them. Um, uh, let's do a half inch. I'm going to do them a half inch wide. Four inches. Whoa, that went crooked quick. <laughs> that went crooked, crooked quick. There we go. Perfect. There you go. See how we can piece these together and then they oh look at that isn't that pretty too small though try to find our bigger pieces here we go that i think we can get away with this one there so let's cut off those decorative edges there let's cut that down okay let's 
make it for the top here. So it needs to be four and a half. Four and a half. Yeah, that way. Okay. Just want to make sure I have it facing the right way. Okay, we're definitely running long, but it'll be all one video. You can stop it and play it whenever you want. There you go. All right. Okay. Now we can get lots of scraps in here. Okay, how wide is this one? Four and five eighths. So four and five eighths. Four and five eighths. Four and five eighths. Oh, we must want it this way. Five eighths. Oh, I like that. Oh, what did I do? I didn't do it right. About four and seven eighths. Four and seven eighths. There we go. Yes. That's what we're going to do, just like that. Yeah. Here we go. Cool. Like that. All right. So let's see. Here we got this spot. That's going to go there like that. Okay. So let's do. Four inches high. Let's go ahead and put this four inches high. Four inches high. Four and three quarters wide. we need that. So let's do this one. Let's do let's do some words this way. Four and three eighths. Four and three eighths. It's like that. Four and three eighths. So like so. And there was find that's not looking for that same one there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right how about this one that one is pretty so what was that let's get this going here 
four and three eighths. Nine, four and three eighths. Double check. Three eighths. And we're going to split this in half. This one is two inches. We're going to give it one inch. One inch. Perfect. All right, so then this is going to get there. This one gets there. like so all right so that is all those i think we're going to go ahead and do um do i have any more big pieces for these tags all right so we're just going to do these real quick the quick way i'm just going to mark them That's the way to do it. Again, just one side, not both sides. And it's one tag, and then. Same thing again. Like this. We've got there. And there. Okay. Tags, everything. All right, perfect. All right, so let's see what we can do real quick about these half inch strips here. Um, and they have to be, let's see here, they are four and five eighths. Four and five eighths. Four and five eighths, which is this perfect height there. And I want them just under a half inch. So one. these in just like so they should be the right length and I want to stay away from the I went just on whoops get up there just under the size for those things there for the gussets I had enough room and they're the same height same height as our Whole hinge area there. Oh, you know what? Don't need four. Only needed three. I guess. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I want to try to correct that 
because that is crooked. Okay, so let's see what we can do there. What can we do there? What can we do there? That. That is crooked. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to make that the same height as this. Which is just under five inches. Just under five inches. Okay. Now let me see. Here, can I split that? Yes, I think I can. I'm not sure why that was so crooked there. See if I can get that open. Oh yeah, it's not stuck down too good. Okay. For some reason that was very crooked. Right. Very, very crooked. Paper. I don't know if it's because we're starting with a box, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, not sure. Not sure, not sure. All right, let's put the glue up here. Let me see. I think we're going to wrap a ribbon around there too. A ribbon. Not bad, not bad. That's quite a place to make a video. Making it for. I'm already making it. It's running. Oh. <laughs> I think so. Some twine. Let's go with some twine, I guess. It's not really what I want, though. That will hold. Okay. Good. I'm going to come along here. And this is probably going to get covered up too with some embellishments. So I want to lay a bead of hot glue. What about the center here? Okay, and I'm going to leave plenty hanging. You can always cut it off. There we go. This. Okay, and we're going to follow this along here. Just like that. I said this is a nice simple book. It's not going it's not real complicated. You're just gonna keep it simple. Okay. There. So now I have this. I'm gonna cut this right in there, get that out of the way. There we go. So that'll hold it closed. And then I still want to figure out what to do for that. This one's nice and straight there. But that one isn't for sure. How about this? I'm going to slice this here a second. Get that out of there. And then all these other little pieces, I think I'm just going to throw away them because I'm not going to mess with them. Okay, so I want it how high. I want it. Let's do it. I'm going to say just under five inches, like I said before. So just under five. And then I want this 
one. I'm going to do, I want to stay away from that edge. So under three eighths of an inch. Ooh, that's going to be interesting, isn't it? That's three eighths. So. Let's see if this is wide enough. Let me see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Okay, so we're going to do that one there. I think that will work. I don't think it's going to interfere. If it does, we'll have to tear it off. But that's a nice little strip there. Okay, right in between there. Right in between there. <laughs> My husband, I was looking for the ribbon, so I'm off in the corner. That's why he said that's a funny place to film a video. <laughs> he was thinking I was done. Nope, that's too wide. Okay, too wide. Let me see if I can. All right, so let me go just, 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 just. Still too wide. Still too wide. So I'm just using the width of these for my guessing. Just for my guessing. Let me see. All right, let's go with that. At least this side, anyway. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that one fits there. Oh, come on. It's little. I can't get my fingers on. There we go. All right. There we go. We got a nice little stripe going there. All right. Let's do the same thing here. Let me see what I can do with it to make that look better. Not to make that look better. Let's see here. All right, there we go. There, that looks better. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and tie this. And then we will grab some flowers, glue them on, and we'll be done. About. Okay, these are Bella Blue flowers, 16 flowers, and I think we'll just use some of these. Oh yeah, they got them wired right on there. You know, I'm just going to snip them off of there because I don't need all that wire. I'm going to grab my snippers. That will save time. I'm just going to snip it, bend it over, and then we'll just hot glue these on there, like so. I don't need a ton. I don't need a ton of flowers. Okay. The reason you want to bend those wires over is because otherwise they might, uh, these might come apart. Ooh. Tiny, got my finger. Hey. And okay. And Some 
tiny ones here. They have all kinds of paper flowers. Tons and tons and tons of them. Let's do one more of those bigger white ones, I guess. And my brain is thinking of what else I could put on there. But I think that might be good. Let me see if I've got. Embellishments here. Right, let's see what we've got here. Ooh, those are pretty. That wasn't blue, I guess that is. Let's go ahead and grab this tag here. This is from a dollar store. It is not Family Dollar and it's not Dollar Tree. It's a dollar store in a, a little town about 20 minutes from me and there's um, they always have some unique things life's a journey i think we're going to go with that and maybe add a couple more flowers around that and then we'll be done okay just uh, close that in a little bit Like there. And this one, and I'm sorry about this running so long, but I wanted you to be able to. I didn't see no sense in this being like two or three videos. So there we go. That is it. All right. Let's do a quick walkthrough of our project here. Of all this stuff here. Messy. All right. Just a quick walk through. Like that. I've got some flips here. And then I'll do another walk through just to show it. And we got our tags there. So it'll just be a quickie and a tag here. Could decorate that one. Nice and simple. Tag. Flip. There we go. Down. All right. That is it. And if you're a subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you are not, if you would do so at this time, there is a subscribe button down in the right hand corner there you hit that a bell pop up if you hit the bell you'll be notified each time i put up a new video and as always i hope you have a great day bye bye